guys, it's Joy, and I'm back with a Dollar Tree haul video for you guys. Um, Mom's bringing me my soda that I got when we went to Hy-Vee because I was thirsty. Um, because we had her doctor's appointment, and then we went to Dollar Tree, and then we went to Hy-Vee, and then we came home. Luckily, my mail has went, so now as soon as I do this Dollar Tree video, we're going to go ahead and take showers and then have some lunch and then go from there. So, as you can see, I've already started redecorating my tree for... St. Patrick's Day because today is the 2nd of March. So I have green shamrock lights and then I have a shamrock topper and some shamrock rings on it. And then I wanted to pick up some stuff that I could put on my tree. So we went to the Dollar Tree to get some stuff. And let me pull out this first bag, what's in it, and then we'll go over everything. Okay. And I love pens um, that are unique. So I found some pens in the dollar store. And I've got a couple more yet. I found this Flamingo pen. I thought that was really cool. This donut pen. But that wasn't the only donut pen. We had this donut pen. And this donut pen. And this donut pen. And that's mom in the background. And then this fluff ball pen. So I thought those were cool. Then I got some flowers that I'm going to take off the top like I did for my Valentine's tree. And all I'm going to do is just set them amongst the branches. And then I bought four four bundles of those. Okay, and then I also got these foam scatters. Um, I found these really cool Easter egg things that are actually, they look like shells. And I thought those would be cool for some kind of craft down the road. Um, as you guys know, I've been doing boxes for things. So I bought some... Um, cellophane bags that are Easter themed so that when I do my Easter bags I can use those. I'm stockpiling so that that way in the future I have them so I won't have to go hunting. I've seen this on my uh, craft group and I thought this looked really cool. It's to make a flower arrangement and hang it on the wall but also there are other things you can do with it. I just think that's kind of cute. I'm looking forward to coming up with something to use that for. Um, I have wanted some of the heart rings for quite a while. They had them in stock today at mine, so I bought four of them because that way I don't have to go hunting them down later. Um, and then I have become addicted to the paper straws for crafting, so I bought some that were like red and white dots and stripes. And then we got the red, white, and green stripes. And then we got the buffalo plaid and two different patterns of plaid. So I thought those were cool. Then, my mom and I use coffee cups for tea and hot chocolate and stuff. And I like to um, change them up every so often. So, the Dollar Tree is a great place to get them. So, I got this one for me. Just nod and smile. I usually say it the other way. Just smile and nod. But, this is cool. So, I got that for me. So, when I go do dishes this week, I'll have to wash these. Then, I got this one from mom. It says, gather here with grateful hearts. I thought she'd like that one. And there's two more. I'll get to them in a minute. I also bought some more gold coins for decorating with. Um, and this reminded me of a John Deere tractor. And if I haven't told you guys, my dad worked for John Deere Company as a welder on the repair on the uh, combine repair line. So this made me think of my dad. So I wanted to get that so I can do a project with that. Then I bought some little pins I can put in my boxes so I don't have to go with an off season. Um, I've been seeing a lot of things done with this rope, so I bought a couple packages of that rope. And then I'm constantly breaking my sunglasses and everything, and for a dollar, it's not hard to replace a pair of sunglasses, so I got this pair. These are kind of nice because they kind of wrap right up against this. Then, I saw this, and if you don't know, I love bingo. This has got the bingo cage, the bingo balls, the bingo, um... The pieces to put on there and it's also got the cards in there so it's a whole set for bingo so I thought that was cute for a dollar that wasn't that expensive so that'd be cool and so we bought one of those um, we're movieaholics and so I found surfs up two in a relationship this one I've seen on I think it was Netflix it's Annabelle Cooper Annabelle Hooper and the Ghost of Nantucket. It's really good, but it's also got two other movies on it, which I think I have on another set. Then I love Curious George, so I got Curious George. Lying and Stealing. And then there's Orphan Horse. So those sounded all interesting. And I bought some beads. 
I bought a birthday card for my mom to send her sister and one for me to send her sister. So we got a couple birthday cards. And then I bought a few, one, two, three, four, five uh, St. Patrick's Day cards. So I'm going to try to find five people to send to for St. Patrick's Day. And you know, it would not be a complete shopping trip to Dollar Tree without one item, a couple items, my flowers, which we've already seen, and my journal books. So, I got the Stay Cool with a little, like, pug puppy on it. And then I got Yum with, like, a little kitty ice cream. And then, I know I may have gotten these before, but I love these books for journaling. Um, my goal list, my, every, I have now got a daily goal list and a weekly goal list. So, I have two different books I'm working with for that. And then I also journal, like, when I want a diary-like thing. And then I have for when I'm sick. And so I have journals going everywhere. So I got these two. And it says, Make Your Mark. And the best is yet to come. Um, also got these ones that are just like a little scarf. These are the kind I use for my daily journals. And then I got the pug that says, Stay Cool. So. Oh, I picked up two of the Stay Cool. Oh, well. Then I bought these bamboo cutting boards because we don't usually have these in ours. And I saw them and I'm like, I want those. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. If I'm going to put them in my kitchen and use them that way. Or if I'm going to use them in my craft. So. But I bought them. Because I can go in that bag. Then I bought these two pens. They are the uh, Unicorn and Mermaid to-do list. You click them and they have a different thing. It says Unicorn to-do list. Eat a sparkle sundae. Or a mermaid to do list is dance with a dolphin. So I thought those were kind of cute. And we're not done yet, guys. I had to get some art for my wall that I can also take apart after the holiday and redo into something else. So I got an Easter egg. Because um, I decorate our hall for if we walk down the hall, it gives us something to look at. These little Easter eggs. Oops. Oh, well, I'll get it in a minute. Um, and then, you know me and my red truck? Well, they had a pink and a blue truck this time and I could not pass them up because one had Easter eggs in the back and the other one had carrots in the back. Isn't that cute? They say ha happy Easter. I wish they said happy Easter. That would have been cuter. But happy Easter is fine. I bought a couple of tablecloths to maybe make a wreath for uh, St. Patrick's Day. And then I got my bunny wall art. So I'm going to probably mix this in with my St. Patrick's wall art because Easter does come right after and I won't have much chance to decorate for it otherwise. So I probably will put these up in the hall today and in the bathroom so I have something to cover those rooms. Okay. Then I saw these cute signs for outside. And I'm going to put them in flower pots and put them outside. <coughs> um, I got Bunny Please Stop Here. And then I got in the pink and the blue. Um, and then I got a Welcome and a little chicken. It cheeky. With its eggs, so those are cute. Another bag for you. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys back a minute because I gotta get to my bags. Okay, we're not done yet. I got some grass for when I do my um. Oh, what do you call them? But a boxes for Easter. And then I have one thing I'm not going to share with you guys because it's for a gift for somebody who sometimes watches my channel. And so I don't want him to see what they are. Um, it's for my nephew. And I'm wanting to make something out of these items. Um, so if I do make it, I will share this with you guys after his birthday because it will be a birthday gift. Or maybe Easter if I can get, get it done in time. Okay. And then more grass. And I couldn't pass up these Heron Bow Happy Hoppers. I thought, oh, that sounds good. I don't do a lot of candy lately, but. And then I saw this Chicken Soup for the Soul, Love That's Meant to Be book. And I love the chicken, the little chicken books. Um, I got some of these little paint sets either for me to do or to put in my uh, boxes. And then I picked up a couple books that I don't know if I'm going to like them. Um, they're two out of a series of three or four. I think four. And I don't have the TTFN and the L-A-R-G-A-R, which is later, greater. Um, I did get YOLO and I did get TTYL. So I did get two out of the four books. And 
I just thought it sounded kind of interesting to look at. I would like to know what order they go in. Okay, so it's TTFN. So I have to get the first two yet. But I did get the third and fourth one. <clears throat> I'm going to try this around the bottom of my tree. It is a glitter. <laughs> oh, boy, is it glittery. I am getting glitterified. Little piece of, like, cotton, like, batting. Kind of like a batting thing. And I'm going to try to put that around the base of my tree just to add a little fun to it. And I got it in a couple colors. Woo, I'm going to be glitterified. But these cross egg things, I thought they were cute. They're supposed to be like Easter eggs, but they're in the cross shape. I thought those were cute. Um, and then I got a couple of wood arts that I can do for my wall. Uh, and then I, like I said, I also bought it in yellow for like an Easter time or whatever. And then I got these cute little treat sacks. Um, there's four in here. They have a little twine and their little bunny faces. So I thought that was cute. Then I also saw these treat bags that have the bunny ears on the outside. So I got two sets of them. There's only four of those that way. So that gives me some cute little treat sacks. And then I bought some Easter towels um, to kind of decorate. Use as like uh, table costs in the hall where I decorate. And maybe on my couch in the bathroom. I don't know where they're going to be utilized right now. Okay. And then I found this cute little bunny to put on either my tree or in my hall. We'll see. And I got some metallic cupcake liners. Like I said, I was looking for good wall art. So I found this Happy Easter with a little bunny. And then this one says uh, Easter Greetings. And then this is Every Bunny Welcome. And then we have the little bunny that has spring on it. Which I could probably take this off and put something else like some flowers or something here. Just to make it a little more fun. I don't know what I want to do with that. So I'm going to leave it that way or take it apart. Then we have Bunny Hop, Jelly Beans, Easter Baskets, Hoppy Easter, Easter Hunt, Easter Egg Hunt. Colored eggs and cottontail sign. I love those in the bathroom. And then we have Easter Bunny Egg Hunt and Jelly Bean Trail. A little sign that will probably go in the end of my haul just for fun. And then I put window clings on my mirror, but I don't know where mine are right now because of the trying to organize everything. So I bought three different ones I can use for Easter this year. And then we got the Happy Easter Bunny in an Egg. So... Got that for my wall art. Ugh. Just a few wall arts this year. And if you guys want to, um, want, I have a video that I made a couple years ago um, when my dad was alive. And it was trying peeps. Um, Mindy, my dad, my mom did this. And um, I'd have to get Mindy's approval on it too. So if you guys want to see them trying the different peeps, let me know. I can edit that video. Um, and you'll get to see my dad being a goof again. If you like the Oreo one at Christmas time, let me know and I can do that. It's just my mom, my niece, and my dad. And as long as Mindy approves it too. Um, so we got mom some peeps because she wanted some peeps. So there's cotton candy peeps, uh, the plain green, purple peeps, party cake peeps, and the plain yellow peeps. I could have also gotten her pink peeps but I didn't. Then I got her two containers of cotton candy. One is jelly bean and the other one is just cotton candy. My mom loves cotton candy so I bought those for her. Then we have this Easter decoration to put up. And then I love to put on my door in the hall. I have one door that has a um, wreath hanger on the on the back room. So what I do is I put one, I put up one of these for Valentine's Day. I had the heart one. I thought this would be cute on that. And then also on the door to our closet, I put one of these. And then I figured I'll find another spot because there were three different colors. I couldn't pass that up. So mom loves these kind of things too. Okay, and then I also needed a new spoon for my kitchen. And then I bought these two metallic. Uh, tablecloths. I thought they would be cool in a wreath. And another one of those like batting things. And here's the other two mugs. 
I bought this one for my mom because her favorite color is red. I had her try it because she has a real problem with a lot of our mugs being too heavy. And she says that one's good. And then I took this one for me. It says, Love Builds a Happy Home. So, that was everything that we bought in the line of uh, stuff at the Dollar Tree. What was your favorite item that we bought? Um, so, I don't have a favorite item. There's so many good things in this pile. But what was your favorite item? Comment down below. I hope you all have a good day. I hope it's as wonderful and beautiful as you are. And we'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.